Next up is the Griffin Armament M4SD Compensator. Uh, this compensator did really well in our testing. Uh, one thing we found that the muzzle rise was minimal. Uh, the noise it added was also minimal. It's available with a suppressor, uh, so it'll actually attach over it. And the suppressor that's designed to go with this uh, will actually go over any A2 flash hider as well. So that may be something that's a bonus to you. Price point is great. Um, about 95 to 100 bucks in that range, and um, we found it to be really good. Rollover prone, side prone, all that stuff was uh, really efficient, really efficient comp. Absolutely, I had an opportunity to go ahead and run this gun uh, both from uh, you know from the ground in both prone and uh, rollover prone, and it was a pretty mild shooting comp as far as side concussion goes. Didn't really go ahead and throw a whole lot of debris up in my face like some of the other uh, compensators that we ran. Additionally, the nighttime signature on this. Uh, was right was right up there with uh, all the other uh, compensators that would typically be compared against. Um, so you know it really did avoid that drawback of you know possibly having the potential of having a bad nighttime signature, especially considering how effective it was at controlling recoil and uh, muzzle rise. What we're looking at right now is the Battle Comp 2.0. Uh, what this is, is obviously a lot of people are familiar with Battle Comp as being really the industry standard when it comes to tactical compensators. And uh, for good reason, the Battle Comp performed very, very well in our testing as far as recoil control and, and muzzle deviation is concerned. Um, not a whole lot of side concussion is as typical with the Battle Comp. It's important to understand the reason that we tested the 2.0. This is the newest one that's been available from Battle Comp. It's designed to work with the Gemtech Halo sound suppressor. Um, and it's also important to, for everybody to understand that the 2.0, the 1.0, and the 1.5 internally and functionally are completely identical. The only real differences are the ability to either mount a sound suppressor or their overall length to help with individuals that want to pin and weld uh, to achieve the overall 16-inch length as required by the National Firearms Act. Yeah, this compensator did really well. Uh, the nighttime signature was also minimal. Um, they also, you know, to add on to what Steven said, they also just came out with the model to uh, accept the AAC suppressor. So if you have an AAC suppressor, this option is now available for you. For you. So that's something that's good as well. So uh, very lightweight, very small, very minimalist, good recoil control. Uh, and the nighttime signature, once again, was uh, on par with just about everything else we tested in its class. And uh, noise, all that stuff, minimally increased. So uh, battle comp. 1.5, 2.0, great comps. Let's talk about the Knight's Armament Triple Tap. This is far and away the rarest compensator that we have uh, in the lineup in front of us, and it's easily, I would venture to say, the most expensive as well. Now, in our testing, I had a lot of opportunities to actually shoot this from the ground, and I would have to say that the side concussion from both the prone and rollover prone position was actually pretty mild when considering that it is a compensator, so you can expect a lot more side concussion and muzzle blast uh, when using a design such as this. Additionally, the nighttime signature associated with compensators you know, it's generally thought to, to be you know pretty bad and you would you know you generally tend to think that you are going to get a lot more muzzle flash however the triple tap performed surprisingly well in that regard uh, when it came to the nighttime signature yeah the uh, knight's arm triple tap is a really unique device it is all in canal steel which is extremely hard it's wire edm cut uh, to look at it uh, it's actually amazing how they built this device it's, it's a fantastically built uh, device and, and really the only device here on the table that is built truly from Inconel steel and one of the only devices I know of on the market that way so it did well it's interesting to note that the differences between this and say its competitor or the battle comp or the Griffin wasn't necessarily that it had less muzzle climb or less felt recoil but the pulses are totally different um, and it has to do with how this muzzle brake is designed the cuts and the specific you know the little vents in the sides and such and that really goes to say about all the compensators we have on the table. They all have their own unique pulse and their own unique design. So 
Uh, while you can't say, well, maybe this one is better than that one because it, your muzzle time is less or more or whatever, it has a totally different pulse. Some shooters may like this more and some shooters may not. Um, we found it to be well. It worked, it worked well in the conditions it did, especially the nighttime signature. It also can be adapted to the Knight's Armament NT4 suppressor. It's made for that. So the Knight's Armament Triple Tap, if you have a chance to uh, shoot one of these, I suggest you do. It's an interesting experience. Like I said, it uh, has a very unique pulse to it, uh, but it did well in all of our testing.